12.52 a.m., the call was received that the Mount Hermon School was on fire. The 50-year-old elementary and senior high that housed memories for generations of Mount Hermon residents itself became a memory. All you can think about is just all the people in this particular area and the memories that they've had over the past past 50 or uh, 52 years that this, this structure's been here. And that's something that you can... community of Mount Hermon. Today, the entire town became a classroom, and students went back to school. School officials say classes will be held in churches, homes, the school cafeteria, or wherever space can be found. But as students and former students sifted through the rubble, hope slowly faded that the town would ever be the same, much less the school that held it all together. To the people of Mount Hermon, an old friend is gone, but residents here say they will stick together and rebuild what was the town's testament to its Classes past. are now continuing in Mount Hermon, in the school cafeteria building, and across town at the Methodist Church, the parish library, a dance studio, a TV repair shop, and the Baptist Church. Already, workmen are hurrying to complete classroom space in the school gym, which was only slightly damaged. We have 10 classrooms on the inside of the gym, which will house most of our off-campus people. And like I say, 10 days, I think we'll be back in real good shape and have everybody, have our whole family back on campus. Fowler says the town was close before the fire, but it's grown even closer since. In fact, many of the students used most of their time off to help clean up the campus after the fire. Even the parents people pitched this in. this morning working with us. They prepared snacks for our children, and everyone's just been just so cooperative. Meanwhile, school officials say they expect construction to begin on the new school by May 1st.
by the state of Louisiana, I now present to you the graduates of Mount Hermon School for 1984. A fire destroyed the 52-year-old school which formed the heart of the community. That building is now gone, but not forgotten, for it houses many, many memories. It has been replaced by the new school plant, which we are here to dedicate today. A special thanks goes to all of those fire farms that did, that did come that night and involved a gallant effort on the early morning and the early morning hours of February the 9th. School on the North Shore began today, and as Mike Sanders reports, the students are attending classes in a brand new building thanks to a caring community. But the town fought back. Classes resumed in a library, a church, and even in businesses. Now, a new Mount Hermon School is open. 24 classrooms, a modern $1.5 million facility featuring new desks and furniture in nearly all the rooms, supplied by families, school, and civic groups. Principal Denny Fowler credits the teachers, townspeople, and especially the students with keeping education going without a building for 18 months. We expected grades to plummet, but they did not. They actually went up instead because they, everybody knew they had to pull, uh, pull together and worked extremely hard. There is no doubt the old Mount Hermon school will be missed, but after educating three generations of families here, maybe the old school saved its greatest lesson for when it burned. And that is, the real heart and soul of this community is not a building, but the people themselves. Mike Sanders, News Center 6.